Research complete. Hello friends, my name is Pradeep Kumar. Let's start a new topic about how we can interlink IR sensor in live view help of visa. Okay, as well as learn Arduino programming. Okay, now we need a hardware that is Arduino Uno and a one sensor that is IR sensor. Okay, you see this is a IR sensor. Okay, when some some object is nearby this, it's operate like on off. Okay, like this. Okay, you see. Okay, this is IR sensor. Okay. Transmit and receiver. This is a transmit and receiver. Okay, when someone is nearby this, it's operate. Okay, it sends any object. Okay, and Arduino, you know, and you see have a connection. You see have a three pin. Uh, already declare here. One is out. That's one is out. And out pin I am connected to the pin number eight. You see Arduino pin number eight. This is eight. And the middle pin is for your supply. Uh, you see. This is your VCC and a ground connect to VCC and ground here. Okay, both win here. Okay, this is connection. Okay. Okay. Now you see, uh, you already know about the void setup and void loop. Okay. If you don't know, then uh, visit my first video, first tutorial about uh, Live Visa. Okay. Then come on the next. Okay. Now let's start. <clears throat> First, what you need? Uh, I'm declare int, okay, and uh, create a variable. Let I'm enter Pradeep equal to eight. Why I'm choose eight? Why I'm choose eight? Because I'm uh, my IR sensor output is connect to the pin number eight. Okay, that's why I'm enter here and eight stored in Pradeep and it is integer. Okay, integer data type. Okay, now all done. Okay, now what do you do? This void setup we need to declare once. Okay, now uh, first I am enter here serial dot serial dot begin. Okay, and enter your hardware board at 9600. Okay, now enter uh, like if you have a sensor, then you can uh, input and output as per comment. If you have a LED, then you can use output. Now I am enter here pin mod and I am enter here Pradeep comma and my this sensor is input okay this is ir sensor okay that's why i am entering here input okay just not a output okay because help of this if uh, any object sends this then gives the signal to the arduino signal to arduino and arduino is operate any object as per your uh, logic okay <clears throat> that's why i am entering input this is ir sensor okay i am entering comment uh, ir sensor is uh, input <clears throat> okay now all done we declare here <clears throat> okay all done uh, word setup is complete now let's come on the word loop okay word loop <clears throat> okay now uh, we need a uh, creative one variable also that is uh, int I'm entering lab view equal to zero okay first time zero but right now i am using int okay not a character okay <clears throat> int now uh first lab view enter lab view equal now parameter that is a uh, digital read r e d you see and same so why i'm choose digital read here because because our sensor is digital ir sensor is digital it's work only zero and one okay if have any object then it's give one value otherwise it's give zero value okay as like this okay that's why i meant here digital and we need to read a data and then i'm enter read okay <clears throat> okay and uh, digital read value store in live view okay i'm create a variable that is live view starting zero value in lab view if how our digital read sensor is activate and it gives some value then store in lab view okay help for live view we can store any place other okay now uh, <clears throat> now you need to declare here which pin you need to read 
okay then you see i am under 8 and 8 value stored in pradeep that's why control c copy and paste here pradeep like this okay pradeep pin number uh, pradeep pin number is 8 and it's uh, read data from 8 pin and store in live view okay all done now what you do enter and i am enter here serial sorry s c r i a l serial dot print l n okay wait i am telling you about this what is this <clears throat> serial you already know about the serial monitor okay i already declare serial dot begin serial is activate if serial dot print means uh, like a printing some value okay that is uh, like a string character integer any data type okay print means declare or define and ln means it's a new line means if you have a value uh, wait i will tell you if i remove print and <coughs> i'm enter here live view live view why i'm enter here live view because digital read value store in live view that's why we need to define or we need to print in serial monitor that's why i'm enter here live view this value a uh, print in serial monitor okay in lab view as well as in have a serial monitor also okay all done now we need to a delay delay means wait and i'm under 100 it's a millisecond enter okay now all done let's verify this click to verify okay yes it's done compile okay now we need to upload a program just a wait okay now click to upload and you see your program is going to upload in, uh, you know you see it's complete okay you see you see okay now let's test in arduino serial monitor okay now open your serial monitor <clears throat> okay now you see it's right now it's giving one 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 okay if you see if now uh, it's king one 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 if, if now uh, enter, it's king one 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 nearby your sensor I enter, and you see it's and zero. nearby your sensor and you okay, see it's remove, zero then one okay if i remove if nearby then one. the sensor then it's q if nearby the sensor zero. then it's q okay. zero Fully. okay okay uh, now testing complete it's working fine we need okay. to little modify because uh, now your value is going in a one line okay that's why we confuse uh, right now which value is here and we need to modify enter ln means ln means new line okay if once it's print uh, some value then it's come on the new line then new line okay like this now let's again upload and try uh, let's see what's going on here <clears throat> okay done now again open serial monitor and you see one 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 it's a new line okay when i uh, nearby sensor it gives zero again remove one zero one okay it's complete okay now let's come on the lab view open your lab view okay now come on the block diagram right click here and click to instrument io pin this click to visa Fra sorry click to advance open clause okay <clears throat> now you see have a two option i already uh, told about this write and read okay right now i have a input means i have a sensor okay we need to uh, read a data from sensor that's why i'm choose read okay click and drag here okay select all control space control w okay right click here structure while loop connect right click create control okay and you see have byte count right click and create control okay now increase their size okay now have a stop button drag here increase their size okay now you see have a two read buffer and written count okay right click create indicator okay drag here 
and uh, second one is uh, written count create in theater like this okay this is your written count okay help of this we can know about what's going on increase their size okay now you see visa resource right click here and uh, click to create a control okay and you see this is very important because this is your com port okay now uh, select your com port click to refresh it's very important and you see uh, which com you your right now and select that okay now click to run okay now click to run and you see it's working you see a uh, pin is uh, blinking tx pin is blinking okay and this is your sensor now uh, we uh, let's do setting in uh, your lab view you see byte count okay and read buffer okay in they have its uh, display value okay uh, let's click to increase a one two okay you see if a uh, written count have a two or three uh, count after that it's defined here okay if you have your length is increase have a uh, like uh, more uh, value okay that's why you need to uh, define from here you increase uh, your byte count okay step by step we can learn in uh, other videos okay now you see if i decrease uh, right now it's one it's given a zero means have a zero uh, like zero digit that's why it's not defined here if i increase this byte count three rate and count three and it's defined here okay and you see in uh, sensor I, if i nearby the sensor and it gives zero value if i remove my hand it give one value okay you see okay it's working fine oh guys in this project you can also modify if like uh, if your value is one then uh, you uh, create a logic if your value is one then your LED is blink in your uh, lab view okay if zero then your LED is turn off okay guys, you can do anything uh, in this tutorial you can uh, try to modify okay and the next tutorial we can do uh, like analog value a help of potentiometer how we can vary okay and as well as learn Arduino programming also Thank you so much guys. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much guys.